Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to be showing you how to absolutely melt groups of enemies. So if you want to do this for like the Cloud City Gauntlet like challenge with the waves, um, or if you just want to farm gold, this is a really good build for that. So I will show you what I'm rocking right now. I've got the cowboy hat, um, wonderful patchwork. Obviously this is kind of essential for like life stealing and healing yourself. Um, we've got the outlaw glasses to refund some mana on criticals which we're going to get a lot of criticals with this build. We've got the ammo box to make sure that we don't use too much mana um, and we can refund it. We've got the shark tooth necklace for extra pierce on criticals, which we'll be doing criticals a lot, like I said. We've got the unharmed energy because hopefully we won't be taking much damage from range, um, so we'll be doing a lot more damage. And also we're using the pop pellets to shoot more pellets and have more chances of criticals um, proccing, basically. So into my skills, um, if you look at my skill tree, I have um, tier 1 are base rude, base rampage, sharpshooter, and chincanery, which are pretty necessary for most range builds. Chincanery makes it so that the, our bullets will chain off other things, so I have that aced, and I have sharpshooter aced as well. I have ineffable, or ineffable, um, mana regen penalty is reduced, that's always good, especially when I'm running um, mana for my gun. Um, and then we have Delicate because I only have, I believe, yeah, I have one defense. So we get some um, good stuff from having less than uh, 10 defense, basically. For defense, I have just one tier of tank, and then I don't have anything for miscellaneous. An important disclaimer also, um, I'm probably not the first person to make this build. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I've seen um, other people make it, I think. I think a notable one is Rotube that has a YouTube channel. So I will link his video in the description as well as credit him. Um, there's probably some other people that have this build out there as well. I don't want to steal people's credit, um, but obviously original builds are going to be hard to come by, um, especially because the best ones are just already made. So first things first, we're going to head over to uh, Big Bay and we're going to fight the boss um, known as Pop-Off Pirate. He drops a flintlock that we're going to need for this in order to make the six shooter. So follow me, I'm going to show you where he's at. Now Pop-Off Pirate is, he's not too hard, you just gotta make sure you dodge his projectiles, he does shoot a lot, and he does dodge a lot, so ranged builds are helpful for this as well. But once you kill him, he will drop his flintlock. So now, for the rest of the accessories, or a lot of the accessories, we're gonna go to the Savannah to start. So in order to craft the things we need, we're going to need two gunpowder and one of those ammo boxes. So I will show you how to mine for the appropriate materials in the savannah first, and then we will go to the volcano to get the rest of the sulfur. So basically you're just going to want to mine in the savannah, and then also while you're here, um, kill the mercenaries with the guns, um, and also the copper ants, because we're going to need copper later. And if you're lucky enough uh, from the mercenaries, you will get the drop of the acute lens, which we're going to use for the cowboy hat. It is also worth mentioning that we're going to get the classes in the savannah as well. We're going to buy one of these copper crystals at the shop, using some copper that we got from the ants, and we're going to go outside of the... Um, fortress here and we're going to use this to summon the shock marauder now the shock marauder is a pretty difficult boss if you're new to the game he shoots a lot and there's a lot to parry and dodge etc um, hopefully you can bring a friend or maybe just get good at parrying the stuff but he's just a pretty decently challenging enemy to fight but he has a chance of dropping his glasses nonetheless and that's what we're going to be using in our build so once you have that you can head over to the um, volcano and follow where I'm going here. Basically you want to mine um, as much ore as possible here and then we're also going to be fighting some of the enemies here. The demon enemies here like these horned like fiery demon guys they drop um, sulfur as well especially the big ones they drop a lot of sulfur so we're going to be fighting them as well. Now once you've gotten all that sulfur from the volcano that you're going to need to craft some other items you're going to head back to um, the savannah and craft the um, gunpowder, two of them, and then one ammo box. Now from here we're going to need to go to Cloud City, so I'm going to show you how to get there from the starter village. You're going to head through Big Bay basically. If you have a glider, um, actually you won't have a glider if you haven't been to Cloud City before, 
um, but you can just run here. I use the glider to move a little bit faster. Basically, we are heading towards that tall outpost over there with the bird on that perch. The bird is going to be able to um, teleport us to Cloud City, basically, with his magical flight abilities, which you will see in a second. So now that we're in Cloud City, we're going to head down to this shop um, on the lower or on one of the lower levels, and we're going to get the we're going to look at the pop pellets here. So we're going to need um, scrap metal for this. Um, as well as some lime. So in order to get that, we're gonna go to the forest. So I will head back up to the mirror here, which is in here. Be sure to save the location. Um, and then we're gonna go to the forest one. Forest is to the left of the starter village under that arch. So now we're just gonna head all the way over here and you see this little red apple guy here. He sells lime or any other fruit that you may need. You can buy 10 of those from him and then we're gonna move on. So now we are going to um, cross this area here and we're going to enter this cave. Now inside this cave is like a blue slime layer and there's going to be a boss blue slime at the bottom of this cave. Yeah, his name is Yalgaroth or whatever. Um, and we are going to just kill him. He has some pretty uh, easy to parry attacks. I'm kind of booty cheeks, but he's not the hardest boss to fight as long as you keep range as well. He does drop a lot of scrap metal, so it is worth it to farm him multiple times um, to get the appropriate amount of scrap metal um, for crafting both the patchwork um, and the pot pellets. So now you're ready to go to the observatory. So um, and again, people might not know where the observatory is, so I have prepared a way to help you guys find it as well. So you're going to spawn at the volcano. And we're going to glide, or if you don't have the glider still, you can just walk it across this whole path to this corner of the volcano. We're going to hop up these ledges and this is going to take us to what is known as the deep desert. So the deep desert is just a more difficult desert biome basically. Um, we're going to turn right, I'm going to use my glider, but you just turn right and head straight this way. Go around this rock formation. There's going to be some big crab guys, um, kind of avoid them if you can. You can see here I was kind of drawing a blank where I was going to spawn my ship, but the ship spawn is on the other side, so I will go there now. This crab is giving me some trouble. Anyways, here's the ship spawn. Um, I recommend upgrading your ship for this. Um, mine is the second upgrade right now in this shot, but um, I recommend going even further than that for it to be faster. So basically we're just going to head this way, we're going to pass the egg roost, and here it is, right here. We're going to head up inside. Now this place has a lot of meaningful things you're going to want to craft. First of all, you're going to be able to craft your revolver that we've saved up for. And once you craft that, you're going to want to put a charm gem on it. So if you don't have a charm gem, gems basically drop from any variant enemies or bosses. Um, and it's kind of just luck to get them, basically. Unless you have a Mondo Ring or a friend with a Mondo Ring who can continually um, make it so that bosses turn into these variants. And you can fight those for gems uh, more frequently. Okay, so now on to the um, Shark Tooth Necklace. Um, now that we're at the observatory, we are right in the middle of the Sinister Sea. So we can go over here to the boat spawn again, um, spawn your boat, and just head out to the ocean to find some sharks. Um, usually they won't be above the water like this, but sometimes they glitch and are above the water like this. But they should you should see fins, and hopefully you have a range build. Um, make some sort of range build in order to kill these guys, um, or you can try and take them on with melee, but they're just easy to really like target while you drive your boat around. Anyways, um, these sharks have a really low chance of dropping um, necklace. I think it's like a 3% chance, so you'll have to kill like a decent amount of these sharks before you'll get it. Um, I got pretty lucky there and I got it. Another thing to take note of is it's pretty important in this game to upgrade your ship. 
I don't personally think I'm going to make my ship go too high up because I do want it to go faster, but I don't want it to have a bigger hitbox, and the more you go up, the bigger ship you get. So I'm going to upgrade to the third tier, or the second tier, and get this boat right here, which is really fast and also pretty small so you can get away from like um, enemies that have a hitbox that will destroy your ship. Now onto the meat and potatoes, boys. We have to get the patchwork armor. This is what everybody has been dreading up until this point. We are going to need to fight the boss known as Patris. We're going to spawn our boat again, and we're going to head this direction, and you can follow where I go. If you're wondering why I dread fighting Patras, it's because he's basically the neighbor kid that your mom told you to play with, um, but he was just absolutely obscene amounts of crazy. Um, but we're heading out here right now. Um, you'll see this pirate ship here. You can get on that and try and shoot him, but it doesn't always work. I recommend using melee damage anyways, because he is pretty resistant to um, range damage, I believe. Um, and if you're like me right now and you have a terrible, like, internet connection or latency, he's going to be kind of hard to dodge. It's important that when he puts his head down like that and barrels towards you that you just dodge it, and anything else you can parry. That's pretty much all his mechanics. Um, he's really annoying like that. See, the my latency right now is going to get me killed. Yeah. It's pretty difficult, um, it'll take you a few tries to master his parries and stuff, uh, especially if you're just getting to this area of the game, um, but eventually I'm sure you'll be able to parry him and actually kill him. So you're going to need two foul patches from Patris, so you're going to need to kill him at least twice. Um, also you're going to need Chaos Essence for um, making the patchwork as well, the armor, um, so you can kill him some more for that, or there's other bosses um, that you can farm for Chaos Essence that you can look for. Anyways, now that we've finally got... Um, the materials for the patchwork, you can go back to the observatory and craft the armor. Um, it's really good, it helps you lifesteal um, so you won't die as much. Especially if you're killing groups of enemies, you will hardly ever die. So finally we're going to try and find the unharmed energy from the traveling merchant Mila. Mila offers a lot of good items, um, and so we're going to try and find her. So we can rotate through the prairie, the desert, the volcano, the mountain, and cloud city. All of these have chances for her to spawn. Um, and if you don't find her at any of these, just wait and she'll eventually spawn. Her contents of her shop change um, every time she rotates, so eventually you can find the unharmed energy, um, and it will cost you 800 gold. Once we have all the required uh, tools and accessories for this build, uh, you're going to want to go to Savannah, and you're going to want to um, reforge your equipment. So basically you're going to reforge your weapon until you get a powerful six shooter, which is going to make it do more damage. And then also we're going to reforge all of our um, accessories to make them as follows. You're going to want the um, Dexteritus cowboy hat or the wonderful cowboy hat and you're going to want your patchwork to be wonderful and then everything else in the accessories is going to be deft for dexterity. Now hopefully you were able to do this um, without a lot of error. It should be a fun little quest to go on and you can enjoy watching your damage just chain through a bunch of enemies. I'm not going to say this is an insanely high DPS build because that would be a lie because if you're fighting less than like three enemies at a time, you're not going to be doing that much DPS. It's more of a crowd control and farming build. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Also comment down below what you want to see next in Pilgrimed and I'll be sure to get to that as well. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.